Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight I'm going to show how you get stocks in a Linux terminal. Right now, it's where there's a lot of uh, meme stocks that are popular. Uh, what if you uh, actually bought in on some of these? And uh, I'm not your financial advisor, just to make sure about that. And it's actually um, uh, Torbjørn, my good friend Torbjørn, who gave me this, uh, gave me the idea to make this video. So uh, if you hear this video, Torbjørn, then thank you very much for the inspiration. Um, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, but how do we get stock stocks prices out in a terminal in another terminal? Um, I can just write stocks, of course. And now I need to wait a bit because they need to um, they actually need to connect. And it's actually a Docker image that lies behind this, so I need to start up. And I will show you the magic in, in just a minute. Just want to show you the result first. Um, yeah, what should I say to? Yeah, here it is. So here you can actually see um, uh, here we here here's a stock view. And of course, this is a uh, yeah the the this, the 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 stock is actually stock exchange is actually closed right now. So it's uh, yeah there are still some prices. Actually, I do not know where those prices come from. But they if I search for on Google for the same uh, for the same stocks, then the price actually matches quite good. So um, I believe that these prices um, is quite accurate. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. Not um, yeah, so let me just show how I actually got these uh, stocks right here. We can see here is MRIN, there's NAKD, Tesla, GME, GameStop, which is very popular, uh, popular meme stock right now. EMC, also very popular meme stock. Let us, uh, let me just show the magic. It's actually because there is this awesome Docker image right here, this awesome project. You can, you can take the whole project if you want to. And this by this person right here. Um, I will not try to pronounce it, um, but uh, I think it's an awesome. I think it's all, it's really really nicely made. I like everything when it's out in the terminal. Then I always like it. And then there's um, uh, it's possible to configure uh, it's the view. So instead of just getting the the stocks that I got, and it looked uh, there was not uh, any amounts, uh, any quantity. There was not any quantity on on the stocks. Uh, then you could actually add that, and you can also change the colors, and you can do a lot of cool things on how you actually want to to see uh, yeah how, how you want the home how you want it to look and as you can actually install it with proof you can install it with the uh, linux like this and what i did i actually used the docker image because it's just much easier and then you you run this docker image and then you can run the command which is located right here the ticker and then minus w and then with all of the stocks that you want to see that is a that is a quick start. But if you want a more if you, if you want a, a yeah more control over what you actually see and how it's 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 uh, how it's uh, visualized, then you can create a configuration file, a ticket.yaml file, and then you can map that into the Docker, or you can actually use that on uh, on your on your system. And here here's a lot of the options that you can set: show fundamentals, show separator, sort. How should it be sorted? Uh, I think default sorted by um, how how well the stock performed uh, today. And here we have some configuration. You can, you can see here there's a lot of cool configuration that can be set right there. Um, how yeah quantity there's quantity how much was bought and yeah how much uh, yeah what was the buy price and yeah. Um, I actually I, I did not dig too far down into the configuration, but there's a lot of cool things that can be set up right there. There's also currency conversion, so if you don't want, if you don't want to see it in US dollars, then you can see it in another currency instead. And of course, there's a custom color scheme. I just think that's done. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, that's done a huge effort for for this ticker right here. And I think that that the, the price was quite. Uh, I don't know where the price actually comes from. It's it's probably stands. It's, it's probably here in documentation somewhere. But I, I did not find uh, where the where the documentation come uh, where the prices uh, come from. Um, there's also a license right here actually. You know, public license, but you can just it's possible to get to, to take. And uh, how what what did I do then to have this? I made an alias, so that means that I can I can just write stocks wherever I want to. And how did I write? How did I make this that alias? I made that alias by modifying my uh, oh my C shell RC file that is being called every time I start up. So that means if I catalog um, my home folder and then set as H I see like this and I can grab for stocks uh, I put it in the, in the end of my 
that is uh, as you see um, set uh, set as uh, hrc file and here you can actually see i created this alias right here alias docs equal to and then the docker run command to actually show those docs right there and of course you can just change it to the stocks that you're interested in instead um and you can also create of course you can also so a volume map the 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 configuration file into the Docker image, or you can just uh, take the whole project and then or you can also install it with Brew. There's a lot of options for for using this uh, cool Linux uh, ticker right here, stock ticker. That is just what I want to show. You. I know it. Um, I just stumbled around. Uh, I just stumbled upon this uh, this this project out there. So thank you very much for watching. Not a financial advisor. Not a financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do, just my opinion. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.